All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited for today. I can't wait. Okay, so we're not actually doing tech mod stuff. We got two blaze spawners, guys. So I went into the nether, and I uh, I found two blaze spawners in the nether fortress, and I went ahead, and I picked them on up with our drops of evil. So we're going to need to get some grid power one and two. We're going to have to go ahead and make our room for them to spawn in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do coal. That's cobblestone, not coal. Uh, do, we, do we have an ability to, to build wands? We do. We can build wands. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build one of those up. All right. Now that we got our handy dandy wand, let's go ahead and we're going to find a spot that isn't chunk loaded for this guy. Um, so that's all of our stuff. Okay. So let's go on. We're going to go this way just a little bit. We should actually, like right here, should actually be out of our spawning spot. Yeah, okay. So this is where we're going to put it. That way it's out of spawn. That way it's not chunk loaded, sorry. Because uh, it's kind of in spawn. So we're going to make this real simple. So it's going to be three deep. Uh, yeah, they're going to die on here. And this is it. So one, one. Okay, this is difficult because I believe that Shaw is in another dimension right now. So that could be why. Okay, so we have two spawners. So let's see, one, two. So one, two, three, four. We're going to go five and up. Let's see, one, two, three, four and up, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, yep. So this is good. We're going to go one... See one, two, three, four, and up. Frickin' this guy sometimes. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Ah shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Just kidding. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build the structure thing over here, and I'll be right back. So let's go on ahead over here and check out what I've done off camera. We got it all finished up. We got all the conveyor belts in, and we've gone ahead. We put some gray stained glass, put some diamond spikes there to kill all the blaze and some other things. So if you look, let's see, over there to where it says dungeon. Yeah, I found a few spawners. So now we have Blaze, Endermen, Creepers, and Skeletons. So yeah, we are getting a lot of stuff. We need to figure out what to do with this stuff, actually, because we're getting so much of it. Then we're just going to have to make a normal system with the... Is that Koopa? Yeah, it looks like Koopa. Or no, it looks like one of Butcher's guys. Let's have a look. What's this guy doing? Luna J. Coffin is in the ground. Okay. Luana is out of the ground. That was interesting. <laughs> Glad that that's all taken care of. So let's go ahead and we're going to need to make some awesome, cool stuff. All right, so for the farm over here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna knock out all of this, and we're gonna go ahead and add in these basic drawers just because they're basic and very easy to upgrade. So we're gonna need to make a drawer controller which involves getting some redstone, some stone. We have redstone everywhere now. It's not even that much of a problem. And bada bing, bada boom, we got it, cool. So this will control all 10 of these. Let's go ahead on over. So a lot of you who set up a farm like this might notice that you're having an issue with Enderman teleporting away if you use like an Ender Enderman tele uh, Enderman thingamabobber, a spawner. Uh, but if you look over here, this is an Ender inhibitor. Um, it says it's set to active, but this prevents the Enderman from teleporting away, which is exactly what we need in our life. So we're obviously getting too much stuff. Yeah, we're just getting too much stuff. Okay, um, so we have enough blaze rods, which is good. 
but uh, we want to go ahead. We're going to place these bad boys here. So one, two, three, four, five, three, four. And then this is where the drawer controller is going to go. We're going to set it right here. And so that should affect that in a good way, I guess, I guess to say. Uh, we're going to have to set up a trash can method too. What we can start to do is grab all of these materials that we have too much of. So like for all the blaze stuff like that, that we want to keep. Um, let's see, infirmium, that's a good one to keep. We're going to get a lot of that. Uh, let's see here. Do we have any gunpowder in here? I don't think so. I think it's all getting clogged up. We need to let that buffer go down so that we can go in there and snag our prize. Cycle it. Got it. Okay, cool. So, vacuum hopper. I think it's that one. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, so that's working perfectly. We also need to get a key so we can lock that down. Okay, so we have sort of a system set up over here. It's not very good. This is way too slow for what we got. We have a buffer chest here. We're going to need to find a way to throw that stuff away. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a filter on this guy. Uh, do I have my wrench on me in here? I do not, so it's kind of useless. But we're going to go ahead and set that to the books. Um, water walking. Like this. Whitelist. Ah, it's only going to let it do that. Okay, so we're going to need to get better filters or we just do what i've been thinking of doing we get into enter io conduits and i think that's our best bet right now so let's go ahead we're going to crack into that uh, i do have a bunch of iron we're getting a bunch of ender pearls so we can go ahead and smelt those together and get a good time so i'm going to put these in here we're going to need to make an alloy smelter uh this guy here simple alloy smelter is what we're going to need to make it first so we need to make one of these. We can make that. That's very simple. Um, let me go through my chests. Okay, so let's see if we have everything we need. So stone gear, make two of these, good. All right, water bucket, good. Um, let's throw that book away. Okay, and then one of these bad boys. Bam. Uh, we don't need those. And then two furnace. Ah! <laughs> two furnace. Inventory, why are you like this? Okay, and then... Bam, alloy smelter. Sweet. We've done it. Let us... Oh, shoot. We're just going to have to move our sag mill over. Yeah. Okay, so this is not getting any charge because that's dead. Yeah. You annoy me. Bam, look at that. We already powered up. So let's go ahead and grab those into pearls. Like so. And then we'll go like this. We'll add them in there. And these will start to smelt. Not fast enough. Do it faster. That's kind of faster. Okay, so we got our pulsating iron ingot. Let's go ahead and check it out. So the uses with this to make the conduit. Uh, yeah, we need what this guy. We need to get conduit binder, which is made from conduit binder composite which is basically grout okay let's clean out our inventory we are we are really full okay so we oh azula you died darn it sorry buddy uh i need some clay i don't think i used up all my clay Telling you, when we get Applied Energistics 2, this won't be an issue anymore. Trying to find where we put everything. It'll just be bam right there. So we need 
gravel and sand. Sand. Look at that, more sand. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be able to make a whole lot of this stuff. Ah, we made quite a bit of it. I am not grout. Ooh, it knows what's up. It's calling me out on my crap. Okay, so we got this. Let's go ahead and throw some more of this in here so that way we can smelt it all, or use it all. Uh, let's go down here. We should have a few more in here. Good. So let's make some of this conduit. Uh, do some of the hit shenanigans. Do some of this, some of that. Bam. 40. 40 uh, conduit. The This is my favorite stuff by far because this stuff is it's so much faster than um the pipes that we're already using so it'll just it'll make things go by much easier so what we can do set this to extract set this to insert with a priority of 10 so if it can go in there it will and then we can set this to go in like that so everything else will go in there as long as we set it. Uh, let's go ahead and pillar up a little bit so we can go ahead. Come on. Come on. I believe in you. Okay. Uh, that won't be anything because we already have one in there. We'll insert there. And then we'll insert there. We're going to set these to a priority of minus one just to be safe. Just so that it knows. Like, hey. That's what's up. And I wonder, do we have a clog? I mean, it's extracting. We just need to make some speed upgrades. Okay, so this guy here, this is what we need. Oof, really? Oh, that's a mechanism speed upgrade. Uh, this is the guy we need. Oops. This guy here, not this guy. It's very close. So we need electrical steel, piston, iron, and a torch. So electrical steel we can make with an alloy smelter with silicone, pulverized coal, and iron. So pulverized coal. Let's see. Um, I think we can get that from a sag mill, right? We do have the conduit binder. Let's see about making some some uh, conduit here. So conductive iron is made with iron and redstone, but that only transmits six hundred and something. Let's do energetic alloy right off, right away. So here, redstone, gold, glowstone. Okay, we can do that. So we're gonna use some. Let's only do sixteen. I mean. Why can't we use Vibrant Alloy? I mean, we have the stuff for it. We should get something, maybe? No, we didn't get anything. Okay, so we have enough for it. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Look at that. Look what we made. We've done it. Look at this. Now these all should have power. Okay. Now if I go like this, what happens? Still is draining it. I think we're, yeah, we're at this limit. Let's crank this to the max. Let's crank this to the max and see what we got. Do we have a party? <laughs> well, not really. We kind of have a party. But if we crank this to the max and that to the max, what happens? What happens is, is we're still having issues. I think it's, no, this isn't a problem. I think it's this guy. I don't think it can take that much power. <laughs> but we do have the we do have it maxed out, which means we can go ahead and add this here so all of our machines can have power. Yay! That makes me happy. Alright, so we should have everything we need for this guy. Let's have a look here. Bam. We do one of those. Yep, okay, so we can only do two on this with all the power before it starts to get over, even though we have the uh, 
I think these are Ender Energy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of sad. I mean, these do transmit, like, a lot of RF per tick, but I guess it's just not enough. Not enough for this guy to handle. So we got one. So it's going to take, well, it's gonna, we're going to only get one speed upgrade, unfortunately. But it's worth it, guys. I'm telling you, it's worth it. I'm telling you. And we're done. Ski. Okay, so let's go on upstairs. Let's grab three of these. Actually, four of these. Let's go ahead. We're going to put the sand back. Go on with that guy. Okay, so let's put our conduit binder, stuff like that, up in there. Uh, we'll put these good ingot boys up in here. Along with that. Actually, we're going to take that and we're going to throw it in our bag. So we have this everywhere. Cool. All right. So iron, we're going to need redstone. Going to need wood. There was wood in there, but I didn't want to use that wood. Uh, we're only going to need three wood. And we're going to need that many of those. Okay, so one piston. You're good to go. And we're just missing a redstone torch, but we have everything to make for that. Cool. So we got a speed upgrade. Okay, so let's throw the speed upgrade in here. Extract. Bam, speed. I am speed. Oh, man, look at that. That's working like a dream. And then this is starting to fill up, and then this will start to fill... Mm-hmm. This is great. But these need to be filled up. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. We need to upgrade those. Okay, so let's work on upgrading the drawers we have. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But we're also going to need some more of this. More chests. More wood. And then you go like this. And you go around like so. And you go bam. Okay, so we have the upgrade templates. Let's go ahead... And we're just going to do some diamond ones. Um, so we have 10, so we're going to need 20 diamonds. Okay. Let's look up upgrade. We should see it here somewhere. Ah, yes, right here. 10 upgrades, cool. So I would like to do emeralds, but we're saving the emeralds up for something. I think I need 20. And I don't actually know, I don't remember off the top of my head why I'm saving that up, but we're going to need that much. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, what are we getting the most of? What do we have? So we have 19 stacks there. Five, five. Uh, let's throw it on sulfur just to be safe. And then we can take we can take this. Click there. All the stuff comes out. Uh, oh, we don't have one for solidified experience. That's one we should definitely get. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and place this there. Get solidified experience in there. That's also going to be great for uh, experience, obviously. Because we're still getting experience, just not as much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, shoot, wrong way. Okay, there's that. Get our solidified experience in there, and we'll take it all out. Start clicking it. Okay. And then we can also set it up for a filter and a trash can. Okay, and then we're going to go trash can here like so. On insert, we're going to throw a filter. We don't need actually that many. Um, and these we're going to filter to whitelist. I don't need these yet, so we won't have to worry about it. Ignore metadata, whitelist. So now... Put that the priority of nine. We're not extracting from there. Okay. And so then we also need a filter. I have decided that this is going to be our book one. Yep, there's nothing here. So we're going to get our enchanted books. And we are going to go here. Bam. Ignore metadata. Bam. Insert, bam. And then this will be set to a priority of five. Tinker Sword that starts out with 12 durability. <laughs> Lol. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so... I think that means we're okay. For now. The cool thing is... Ah, uh, you know, we really should... We should have a second trash can for backup. Just in case everything gets overflowed, like a negative, like, 100 priority. That way everything is a priority above it, but if everything fills up, we start dumping the stuff in there. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I'm going to set that up now. Okay, so for those of you new to um, Ender.io and stuff like that, the priority is basically we're setting it to as negative as we can get pretty much. I'll probably just be fine at like negative, like, you know, 100 because we want everything to be ahead of it. Let's go ahead and set it up. Double click. I bet you there's a shift click option that I'm not, I don't know about. So negative 100. Insert here. So this basically means last priority put items in here. So if everything else fills up, this will fill up there and it won't clog our system, which is which is why we're doing this because there are other people who play on the server. It also means we can also have it running 24 seven, but the reason it won't lag for the other people if there's too many items on the ground or something like that. We can also chunk load it now because we do have that safety net in line. So I will go ahead and we're gonna dump all of our stuff out. So we don't need, actually we need that for the other thing. We also need to make a key to lock all of the chests. So if someone says, hey, I need a few ender pearls, they can come up and knock that out. So let's look up a key. Uh, this guy here, drawer key. Bam, so I got one of these, which is good. Let's go ahead. Cool thing is you can lock these guys individually or you can lock it from the main guy, the drawer controller. I'll show you. So you can lock it manually like that or unlock it. But if you go like this, all of them get locked. And so this is what they will all do. So we'll go ahead and throw that on there. So our solidified experience has somewhere to go. Cool. So how is this going? I don't think it's going very well. But now we can go AFK and not worry about this. But guys, that has been the episode on the modded Misfits Minecraft modded Minecraft server play in MC Eternal. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.